what's up guys today is friday finally friday it's snap on friday there's hamilton y'all know it's the very best day of the week it's hot 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 down here in mississippi so he's got the truck running at least we know it's going to be cool on there you guys come on See nothing. I was, can you go outside with sunglasses on? Man, it's real. Oh, well, you got rid of the corn well welder. Yeah. See, it took a leak in your floor back here. Had an incontinence problem. Yeah, it did. No, it wasn't <laughs> that. It was, uh, I don't even remember what I sat down back there now. Something leaked out a little bit. Something had a, had a little issue. Well, how's your week been? Busy, busy, busy. I'm ready for it to be over with. How you liking these 50 degree mornings, 90 degree afternoons, 40 degree nights? I like the 50 degree mornings and the 40 degree nights, but the 90 degrees in the afternoon, that's what we were talking about a while ago. So when you're looking at 88 to 92, right now you're like, man, that is, it's terrible hot outside. You yeah. know? And it's, not really, but when it's 50 in the morning and then 90 after lunch, well, that's a big difference, <laughs> yeah. you know? I mean, come July and August, it's 90 in the morning and 100 at lunch, so. Well, it sure got my sinuses messed up, like I've been snorting quick creed <laughs> or something. <laughs> that sounded funny all afternoon. Like I've been doing lines of sack creek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got congested up Man. a little bit. They get me one of them, uh, Hamilton told me I ought to go get one of them tests done that way I'll unclog it. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you a Corona test. Oh, I'm gonna drink a bunch of Coronas. That'll probably fix it. Yeah, they will. Uh, I don't know if I can stay in the stomach that many Coronas to get drunk off of them. I don't know if it, if it fix the sinus problem though. I might well try it out. I'll tell you what I ought to do is just go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get me about 10 of them habanero the hottest ones I got, you know. Tell me under the blazing challenge. Yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That'd be like, good lord, man! You got a five-gallon bucket running out of your nose. Be like, that's exactly what I was after when I come in here, sir. Well, he was up there one time. I can't. It's been a long time. I don't eat buffalo wild wings very much. Uh, just don't go cheap a whole lot. But uh, somebody did that blazing wings challenge. They was at the table next to us. Of course, I mean. I oh, I've seen it blowing big snot yeah. bubbles in there. <laughs> it was funny until the snot rolling down, and then he hadn't picked up another wing, and I was like, oh, God, that's yeah. going to make you sick watching them. Mm -hmm. Cause oh, I've seen them it, like a snot bubble. It looked like a softball come out of their <laughs> nose. I'm like, oh, man. And, and but, you know, I could really use that right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, still what be. new, cool, and exciting stuff you got? Uh, well, this week, I'm getting a little... 18 volt light we got that in which is identical to these except obviously 18 volt yeah these are focused just like these are cool that's pretty neat on them i didn't know that they changed these over that's pretty neat and then of course we got everybody knows about nipex we got a bunch of nipex pliers in even the little pocket pliers mm-hmm I'm going to tell you what, them right there, people have made fun of me. Remember when we mm -hmm. all bought a pair of them? But if you got a big truck oil filter that don't want to act right, you can change the world with that right there. Yeah. And I'm going to say if if uh, somebody didn't want to act right, you, grab my you could throat, change their change world right with that too. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the way opened up. All the way opened up and all the way closed right there. I mean, that's... Yep. It's gonna hold something. Almost five and a half, about five inches from here to here. Yep, and that's closed all the way. And that's closed all the way. Open the them all the way up now. Yeah, like if you were trying to get a hold of something. Golly, Bill, them's a pair of pliers right there. I mean, that's. Watch, Ham this is where Hamilton breaks <laughs> his little. Bam! <laughs> his little. 
handle installer. If I broke this, I'd have to order another one right now. Well, the good thing about it, you got the part number written on there, so you can. That's <laughs> so <laughs> everybody that uh, Clay knows, we wrote this on here because for two years, I think somebody asked every week, every what was week. the part, What's number, the part number on there? So now it's on every video. And it was just like, it wasn't dealers asking, it was regular people. Yeah. I thought, damn fella, how many times you got to change your ratchet handle? Yeah. If you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so SPP 1710 new... is what, if anybody even needs to know though. So there you go. Yeah. So you got some new cutters, huh? Ah, well, these are nippy. Now they ain't new. I just ain't had them in a little while. Oh, they're angled. The 74, 21, 250s. This, we saw a lot of these, uh, and then they ordered the smaller ones too. Got a bunch of them in. Been selling the fire of these things today. Did you get any of the twin grips in? No. Man, them things right there is rare, ain't they? <laughs> Everybody I mean, wants them and can't nobody get them, I guess. I need to check on, check into them to see. They're good. Like, you know, that set I got, I like them. I need to look at yours so I know, if I got a part number on them, I'm sure then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did a video on them. They're uh, they're pretty good, especially like if you got a nail tire shops. Man, every tire shop order on a pair of twin grips because you know it's always a pain in the butt getting nails out of tires. You yeah. know, pulling them out, or like if they do plug patches, these things, man, you you pull that plug patch, plumb through there like it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, you know, I was doing all that sheetrock work in there, remodeling yeah. in the, the middle section of the office, and um, that guy had a bunch of paneling nails he was trying to pull out, and I gave him those twin grips. He's like, man, I got to order a set of these. These things are awesome. I'm like, yep. yeah. I know the, uh, you give me, uh, let me use some pliers. Yeah, one time the vampires, mm -hmm. they had some good grip on them. These are the same, the horizontal teeth that's in the them, like the vampire. Yeah. But um, obviously, instead of a lineman plier like the vampires, these yep. are slip jaw. Yeah, because the. So you can open them up wider. The vampires, so, yeah, it's pretty much a bit like these, just yeah, smaller. Like a linesman. Yep. Yeah, yeah. These are good. Don't mm -hmm. sell a whole lot of them because most mechanics, like, have most guys that got horses or cattle or something on the side yeah. buy these to. Well, I bought some of them, and that's what I keep in my side by side. You know, my, yep. I got a fencing box on my side by side. But I bought fence, those high leverage them. pliers from you, and I'm going to tell you, you'll break a piece of barbed wire before them right there will <laughs> cut out now. They're some bad pliers. Mm -hmm. They'll grip. They, uh, I don't even think I got any of them right now. They're funny looking, and they're big and just kind of goofy looking, you know? It's sort of like that dork fish that old uh, Bill Engvall talked about. Yeah. But, man, when you get a hold of a piece of wire with it, You'll, you'll break a, and that gaucho wire, for, for you guys that know anything about fencing wire, gaucho wire is probably the highest tensile strength bob wire you can yep. get. You know, I used to think red brand was where it's at, but you can pull that gaucho wire so tight, dude, it'll be like a banjo string, yep. you know. And with those um, snap-on high leverage pliers, man, you can do a quick hitch around that, like if you're having a patch of fence, you'll mess around and break it, because you're used to the other pliers Having when it starts squeeze. slipping. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, it's tight. Well, yeah. them don't slip. So the next thing it does is. I had a, I've had some people bring them back to me before because they would, they're expecting them to work like these. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, these are the worst pliers I've ever had in my life. I was like, well, well first of all, they're not regular pliers, so mm -hmm. you're not going to use them as far as putting on a bolt and loosening the stuff yep. up. That's not what they're for. Uh, once they figure out they use them like on. E brake cables, something that is got to put a lot of pressure on, mm -hmm. and you need grip to where with these you're squeezing both hands trying to pull on something. Yep. Uh, it just they makes need. it a whole lot easier. Or if you just need to paint something together, yeah, they'll do it. Like I've used them to crimp wire, you know, the crimps on wires before, yep. and they're they're tough, man. I I sold a set to a uh, AC guy that uses on all his uh, duct work. Duct work. He uses sheet metal, yeah. and he crimps it. Mm -hmm. Well, he got the crimping pliers, but then he used that. He'll seal them off, like pinch them over th every yeah. two or three foot just to keep them from wanting to spread back mm -hmm. open. I can see where that and, would uh, work really good like on I said, that. I, the crimping pliers I got, I think, is normally like about this wide mm -hmm. or so, but they don't crimp it tight. They just bend it around. Yep. 
I need to do that. Them right there, you can mash her together. Like, yeah, he said it, uh, it leaves an imprint on that <laughs> yeah, sheet metal because it just. Yep. Well, what is it, four times? Four times yeah. the. Uh, so if you're putting power. out 30, 30 pounds, which would be a normal guy's hand strength, yeah, I would so think. Yeah, so you got 120. 120. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. That's enough to uh, crimp sheet metal. Yep. You can get a hold of a feller with that too. Yeah, give him an attitude adjustment. We'll fix his fix his issues. Act right, Pinch. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we ain't heard nothing about when they gonna come out with a long neck brushless or. Um, I've seen the pictures. Lately? I haven't seen any of them available to me yet. They gonna have to hurry up and drop some stuff. Yeah. It's been a while since they've come out with anything new. Well, now it says it is available. Uh oh. We'll get one of them bad boys on the way. Yeah, we need one of them. Yeah. I kind of like that bigger base on these. Like, obviously, you know, if you don't have an 18 volt system, yeah. it wouldn't be worth it to if you buy do just got the, the 18 volt stuff. It, but well, I like going... the way it's got the big base like that because yeah, it's going mean, to be more sturdy to set like that, up. Like that, you do that with these. And... Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, them little old lights pretty tough because mine's been knocked over and dropped. And bounced around and but the best thing I ever bought for mine was I put that battery mag on the bottom of oh, it. Oh yeah on the yeah. And uh well, that's, of course I mean everybody's seen these on here. The biggest complaint on these is the people talk about well there ain't no magnet on them nowhere. Yeah. But we do got magnets for them. They just look mm -hmm. different. You can use these on all kind of stuff. Yep. And these they're stout too. Yeah they are. That's some of them not so rare earth rare Earth, yeah, magnets. earth magnets. Yeah. <laughs> snap on those where the uh, they've got the, the only. No, that's <laughs> yeah. what I was gonna say. They ain't too rare for snap on. They might yeah. be rare for everybody else. The snap on got the stash on them. That's for sure. But yeah, the uh, battery magnets. I was. They're awesome. And uh, but most people complain about them is that they can't get them on on and off mm -hmm. very easy. But they're not twisting it. I got some guys that want to take them and clip them on, which you can get them on like yeah. that. But as far as pulling them off. You're, that's a struggle getting them off like well, that. Well, I've noticed when you go to, like if you got your light stuck on something like this, you can't just pull it straight off either. You have to rock it. And, yep. Because, That's the man, same with the... Them things are... I'm trying to say one of the mother lights, but I didn't. But a lot of our lights, like the, you don't, it's hard to just pull them mm -hmm. straight off. Yep. You got to hit them at an angle. Well, I know that just that little uh, flip-out light, you know, it's got the LED bar yep. and the, that's the, the regular flashlight. For. It's Man, like that these. Joker, I yeah. thought I had one out. That's but. it, yeah. Them them jokers right there, you can't hardly pull them off either. No, nah, yeah, they hold on. <laughs> they'll, they'll hang in there. Yeah, they hold on pretty good right there. Well, I guess we're going to get in here and get our butt back to work and try to wrap everything up for beer 30. Because Lord knows I'm already ready to be off work. If it was beer 32 right now, I couldn't be happier. All right, guys, like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us today. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. It's easy. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.